A gift, sir, from Mr. Rock. You should be warned, Mr. Fry, that when Wrath is angry with one, he generally brings suffering to many. My dearest Jacob, alas, it seems our adventures together have come to a close. Although our time together was brief, it's left a lasting mark. I wish you well in all your future endeavors. Cordially, Maxwell. Post scriptum. I'm putting on a show this evening. All of London will be there. Enclosed, please find your invitation. Marvelous! What a splendid idea this is! Good English, Mr. 
regards to the devil. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that Corvus is Latin. What are you up to now? I've never come to play with that title before. What do you suppose it's about? Mm. What do you In think you're doing? Is the crow was known to be a just much like the Oh, Herman, you will know. May I help you with something? Please let us enter the theater for tonight's performance. Everyone ready? Then let's proceed. Madame et Messieurs, ladies and gentlemen, Welcome to the Alhambra Music Hall. Tonight, we have, for one night only, a very special performance of Corvus the Trickster. While some of the effects may be visceral and highly disturbing, do not be alarmed, my good people. Fear not, this is a purest form of entertainment. Tonight's performance immortalizes and is for the benefit of a young fellow very near and dear to my heart. Any concerns or complaints may be addressed to him. <laughs> Jacob, dear boy, tonight is for you. I say we pass the keys from the royal household to Mr. Stack. That's not my concern. Good gracious, who freedom's up to now? I'll be serving you this evening, gentlemen. You're still here, love. Last time, I swear, you nearly poisoned us. Scene two, stand by. for this brave, brave man. Our volunteer is about to die for you, Jacob. You lucky people are about to witness this gentleman being fired upon at point-blank range. Our performer will hit several targets placed around his head. Exciting, is he not? Where is he? The search consumes. Creed's forgotten, prey visualized, mouth watering. We British are a hardy bunch. Let's put our hardiness to the test. Having a bit of fun, is he? Yes. Stop that, Tracy! 
What a thrill! Do not fret, my friends. It's all part of the show. If he's Please not stay with us as we prepare for the next turn. Oh my! Are your principles drifting, dear? <laughs> I hope you have enjoyed your evening so far, ladies and gentlemen. I know I have. Now, before our final act, I would like to toast all you brave people who joined us tonight to celebrate life and death. Go on! Toast them! <laughs> your move, Jacob, my dear! Baby crow's neck between my thumb and forefinger. Slice to bits the ones you deem innocent. Keep the world in its divine, manic state. For the same reason, I do anything. Why not? Alive. 
Damn this place from hell to Hackney. Bread disorder. The sea rises to flood the pubs and extinguish the street lamps. Our city will die. Tupane has failed. Lucy has failed. Brudenell Elliotson. Pearl. All have gone into the night. It's up to me now. The assassins have brought nature's fury into our homes. Men have become monsters. Barreling toward us, teeth out. Our civilization must survive this onslaught. prevent a return of the Dark Ages. I will start anew. London must be reborn. The Peace of Eden is under Buckingham Palace. We've got all we need. Let's start planning our infiltration. Hold on, better to get visual verification. If we're going to move, we need to be 100% sure. We'll only get one shot before Otso Berg crashes down on us. Gotta agree with Sean. We'll position ourselves near the palace, but we'll wait for you to sync the genetic data before we move. It's all up to you, Initiate. You're late. Staric is making his move. The Peace of Eden is somewhere inside Buckingham Palace. Let him have it. I've seen your handiwork across the city. Perhaps you should trust my judgment. I've been killing Staric's henchmen. What have you been doing? Let's ask Henry, shall we? I have been repairing your mistakes. Too much haste is too little speed. Don't you call father at me. That's Plato. And I am sorry, this doesn't involve anything you can destroy. Father was right, he never approved of your methods! Father is dead! Enough! I have just received word from my spies. At the palace ball tonight, Staric plans to steal the Peace of Eden, and then eliminate all the heads of church and state. Once more, for all time's sake. And then we're finished. Agreed. So what's the plan? Such an unexpected delight to visit you both. What is the news on the street? Mrs. Disraeli, we have discovered that there is something inside Buckingham Palace that could threaten the... <laughs> what my sister's failing to say is that we require entrance into the ball tonight. Impossible! Even if there were any invitation cards remaining, which there are not, uh, someone of your lowly station... If that damn fool Gladstone is attending this evening, they can have my card. Perfect. Then I'll go alone. Mrs. Disraeli, if you'd be kind enough to inform my darling brother of the location of the Gladstone's residence, perhaps he could use his considerable skills to commandeer their cards. <laughs> what fun! Did you hear that, Dizzy? We're going to pinch the Gladstone's invitations. 
Thank you for volunteering me, sweet sister. Oh, a pleasure, brother, dearest. Now, Mrs. Disraeli, if you would excuse me, I must visit with the Maharaja. It occurs to me that he may have a second set of plans to a certain vault. The nerve of Evie. Treating me like a child.